The ASTM D6377 standard is a common standard used to calculate vapor pressures for a crude oil. The test method behind this standard is that we take a sample which is placed inside of our chamber at a known volume and then that volume is expanded to give us a particular vapor to liquid ratio within that vessel. And this vessel is maintained at a particular temperature and then the pressure that that results in for that particular ratio is the vapor pressure for that crude oil. Now this is especially useful because if we use a particular ratio of a 4 to 1 vapor liquid volume ratio at a temperature of 37.8 degrees Celsius or about 100 degrees Fahrenheit we can convert this vapor pressure into a read vapor pressure equivalency. So it's a easier and more cost effective way of calculating an RVP for our crude oil. Now we anticipate putting this into Promax in the near future in 4.1 when that comes out. In the meantime there is a way that we can make this calculation inside of Promax and that's what I want to show you here with this video. I have here a crude sample at its known conditions and the way we're going to do this in Promax is using a heat exchanger to represent our expansion and our maintained temperature. We place the heat exchanger in, we set our outlet temperature at this 37.8 degrees Celsius, and then inside this expanded stream, for the pressure we're going to use a solver to calculate the pressure that will give us our vapor to liquid ratio that we desire. So I'm going to right click to open up that solver. You'll see that this is solving for a volume fraction of vapor of 80%. So if we're 80% vapor and 20% liquid, that would mean we have four times as much vapor, or in other words, a four to one vapor to liquid ratio. And so this solver is within this stream, finding the pressure necessary to get this four to one ratio. If I go back to the stream, we'll see in this case, that that pressure is about 19 pounds PSIA and so that would be our vapor pressure according to this standard. Now we can convert that vapor pressure into an RVPE as it's called using this equation as written out above and so we will take this vapor pressure we've calculated times it by a constant a multiplier depending on our situation and that will give us our RVP now calculated. To do that in Promax, if I return to my project viewer, I can go into my user values and create a user value first to just to represent that vapor pressure we calculated, which is just the pressure of that stream. And then we're going to use this number in another value to calculate the RVP. Inside the RVP, we have put a specifier. And if I open that specifier, we'll see that equation written out to calculate our RVP. This equation uses an if-else statement. So what that's saying is that if our bubble point pressure is above atmospheric pressure, so about 15 psi or greater, it's going to use this first equation as written up top. If our bubble point pressure is at atmospheric pressure or lower, it will then use the second multiplier written down below. Here below are our variables. We've done an analysis on the sample to calculate the bubble point pressure, which in this case is our 23 pounds. And so it's greater than atmospheric pressure. We're using the top portion of this equation, and that calculates our RVP equivalent. So you can see in this example, our vapor pressure came out to 19 pounds, as shown here, and then the read vapor pressure was about 16 pounds.